Turning now to your health on this Monday morning. You know, life as of late has felt like, I don't know if y'all felt like this out there, but I certainly have like a nonstop series of unfortunate events. A pandemic, a monkeypox outbreak, wildfires, and that's on top of all of our own collective personal challenges, right? So the question is, how do you stay grounded when the world feels so overwhelming? Well, here to give us a little confidence boost is Jess Weiner, host of the new podcast, Let's Change Beauty. Jess, good morning to you. Always great to have you with us. Good morning, Melvin. Happy to be with you. So what you got for us this week? Well, it is August 1st. It is the beginning of a month. And as you mentioned, the world continues to feel overwhelming. So I thought we would do a life hack to loving yourself challenge, you and I. So I'm with you. I, Love it. I, I know you would be. And so I think <laughs> great for everybody listening if you just want a little specific exercise to get reconnected to yourself separate from what's going on in the world um, I've got a series of three questions that I've asked myself Melvin I'll ask them of you as well and people listening can can think for themselves as well and what this does is it helps us get back to us to what we like how we handle challenges in the world to what we value because sometimes when we absorb all of this news and all these interactions we can lose sight of just who we are in this big wild world. So what are some of the, uh, the prompts that go along with this? Okay, so just something I want you to think about is I wanna focus on curiosity. So I want you to ask yourself the simple question this week, or you can say last week, I was curious about what? What did you find could, yourself most curious about? Anything, right? Yeah, it can be anything. Anything that really prompted your own curiosity. Uh, I saw this recipe for a strawberry red velvet cake and I love to bake and I was like ooh and I was like looking at like all the idiosyncrasies I was watching the recipe I was looking at how they did it because I like to recreate that and make that cake and frost it the way that this particular chef was frosting it so I was all into that I love that. So for me, I was curious about how to keep my new plant alive and so I was reading about putting coffee grinds into my plant. Oh, really? So why do I ask these questions, even though, you know, people listening might be like, okay, so, well, figuring out what you're curious about, Melvin, keeps you engaged in your life, in what builds you and grows you. And we always talk about how do we learn to love ourselves? Well, we can't learn to love what we don't understand and what we don't like. So knowing what you're curious about, that you love baking, that I have a desire to keep these plants alive in my house, all of this curiosity is about us and our own personal development. So that's one question to think about. The second is about pride. So if the first one was about curiosity, the second is about pride because we often spend a lot of time waiting for somebody else to give us accolades or somebody else to give us approval. But I want to focus on what makes you proud within yourself. So my question is, to finish this sentence, I feel proud of myself or I felt proud of myself when... I How practiced some self-care. Like over the weekend, I went up and uh, just got away for like Saturday through like midday on Sunday. And it was so good because I think sometimes I know I can get caught up. And I know probably many people out there watching too, you get caught up in just the daily grind of your yeah. life. Um, that it just felt so good. I'm like, yes, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to, you know, go be with my family and, and hang a little bit and unplug a little bit and be in beautiful, a beautiful environment. And it was awesome. And see, I love that because you did the action. You didn't just think about yes. it, you did the action for it. So same for me, I had a different experience. I felt pride when I handled a very difficult work conversation. Mm. I had a really like uncomfortable work dynamic with a partner last week. I had to confront, I had to pull up some skills and boundaries for me that was really challenging. And so instead of staying on the challenge, what I'm proud of is that I did it. I, nobody likes yes. confrontation and I did it anyway. So asking yourself what makes you proud about yourself. So you took action on self-care. I took action around boundaries. Again, these questions are just designed to investigate a little bit more for who we are. And then the last question is, when did you feel compassion for yourself? When, when was the last time you felt compassion? for you? I was in a situation where I got, experienced some emotional triggering. I was triggered. And yeah. I, was, I was compassionate just with myself about the reasons for which I was triggered and those things mm -hmm. within myself and even how I responded. You know, that I didn't just go off of the trigger, right? I, I was able to practice some self-regulation and some self-management within myself. Yeah, I love that. So compassion, Melvin, is so important to practice as that form of self-care. My compassion story is related to my pride story when I had to confront this business you know, person. Um, the compassion that I felt was I had really like 
I was feeling uncomfortable. I felt really agitated. I don't like to have relationships like that. And instead yeah. of beating myself up, I felt compassion for the reality, right? Sometimes relationships don't always work out. How do you just have compassion and grace instead of piling on and beating yourself up? So the reason that I did this with you, Melvin, and, and for folks at home is because language matters and specificity matters. It's hard to find ourselves and love ourselves again if we don't really understand who we are and these questions just bring us into the relationship we have with ourselves which is the most important relationship we have that's right that's right Jess Wiener we love you we always mm -hmm. um, enjoy having you on our show especially on a Monday morning you always give us such great tips to really help us navigate and move through our lives in a more meaningful and peaceful way so thanks as always and thanks for participating with me on those questions Melvin I oh you bet it. I love, I love an experiential exercise. And my cat needed to be in this episode, too, so here we go. <laughs> <laughs> love that so much. We're going to take a short break, everybody. This is your morning on Spectrum News 1. We'll be right back. <laughs>